Hi everyone and welcome back to the Tom Morgan Drum Studio. In an earlier video I talked about using syncopation by Ted Reed to uh, work on playing independence exercises um, in the jazz style. And we talked about using page 38 and playing the exercise with your left hand while you play time with all the other limbs and then going back and using the bass drum to do the same thing. Uh, well, today we're going to talk about using these same exercises in a little bit different way by saying that we're going to play all the eighth notes with the snare drum and all the quarter notes, tied eighth notes, and dotted quarters with the bass drum. So if I just did that uh, with the hi-hat on two and four, um, it would sound like this, and I'm playing on page 38, just the first four lines, okay? One, two, ready, go. So um, you would do, of course, there's eight pages here of these same kind of exercises. So there's lots to work on. Um, but what we want to do is get to where we can add the ride pattern um, with the hi-hat and still play those rhythms um, between the left hand and bass drum. So I'll do the same four lines again. I'll start out with four bars of time, and then I'll bring in the bass drum and left hand playing the exercises on page 38. So here we go. One, two, I want two, three, four. Okay, so that will give you the ability to, as you play through all eight pages of this, eventually you will start to be able to just come up with rhythms of your own uh, created by using the left hand and bass drum, snare drum and bass drum like that. Um, you could reverse that and play all the eighth notes with your bass drum and play all the quarter notes, tied eighth notes, and dotted quarters with your left hand. So now I'll play four bars of time again and reverse what I did a minute ago. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. So you do all eight pages doing it that way, too. Um, so that's going to open up playing things like this. A one, two, three, four. <laughs>
okay, the, the ability to just simply improvise between the bass drum and snare drum while you're playing time. Now, of course, let me again always stress that, um, you know, just practicing the exercises without ever listening to the great master drummers in jazz play and really <clears throat> saturating yourself with the style is not going to get you anywhere. You've got to combine uh, deep listening with these exercises. And in fact, these exercises don't really make much sense unless you hear the music and understand the context where this kind of playing would happen. So I just want to, again, you know, stress that because it's, it's so critical. Listening should be as much a part of your practice as playing exercises, okay? Now you could do it another way too. I mean, you could do it many different ways, but you could play it between your bass drum and left foot, your hi-hat, bass drum and hi-hat. So you could have um, the bass drum play the eighth notes and the hi-hat play the quarter notes, tied eighth notes and dotted quarters. So that would sound like this. A one, two, three, four. <laughs> through all the pages that way uh, and any other way you can think of. Um, it's just really a, an open-ended concept that uh, that's what makes this book and using this book in this way so so amazing. Um, so I want to also give credit to the person who uh, I understand really would champion the, the use of this book and that was um, Alan Dawson the great drummer who taught at Berkeley for so many years. Wonderful teacher, wonderful player. His list of students would be a who's who of jazz drumming. And um, he had a whole system of how to use this book to uh, great uh, advantage. And so I really want to make sure you understand that this is none of this is original with me at all. It's been used by hundreds and hundreds and probably thousands of drummers but Alan Dawson is really the one, I think, who, who really came up with so many of these different ideas. All right, so get to work on that. Uh, we'll do more videos in the future using the Ted Reed book. So be sure you subscribe. If you like this video, press the like button. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. All right, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.